The modified Mercalli intensity scale MM or MMI, descended from Giuseppe Mercalli's Mercalli intensity scale of 1902, is a seismic intensity scale used for measuring the intensity of shaking produced by an earthquake. It measures the effects of an earthquake at a given location, distinguished from the earthquake's inherent force or strength as measured by seismic magnitude scales such as the MW magnitude usually reported for an earthquake. While shaking is driven by the seismic energy released by an earthquake, earthquakes differ in how much of their energy is radiated as seismic waves. Deeper earthquakes also have less interaction with the surface, and their energy is spread out across a larger area. Shaking intensity is localized, generally diminishing with distance from the earthquake's epicenter, but can be amplified in sedimentary basins and certain kinds of unconsolidated soils. Intensity scales empirically categorize the intensity of shaking based on the effects reported by untrained observers, and are adapted for the effects that might be observed in a particular region. In not requiring instrumental measurements, they are useful for estimating the magnitude and location of historical pre-instrumental earthquakes. The greatest intensities generally correspond to the epicentral area, and their degree and extent, possibly augmented with knowledge of local geological conditions, can be compared with other local earthquakes to estimate the magnitude. Topic: History The Italian volcanologist Giuseppe Mercalli formulated his first intensity scale in 1883. It had six degrees or categories, has been described as, "...merely an adaptation," of the then standard rossi forel scale of 10 degrees, and is now, "...more or less forgotten." Mercalli's second scale, published in 1902, was also an adaptation of the rossi forel scale, retaining the 10 degrees and expanding the descriptions of each degree. This version found favor with the users", and was adopted by the Italian Central Office of Meteorology and Geodynamics. In 1904 Adolfo Cancani proposed adding two additional degrees for very strong earthquakes, catastrophe, and enormous catastrophe, thus creating the 12-degree scale. His descriptions being deficient, August Heinrich Seberg augmented them in 1912 and 1923, and indicated a peak ground acceleration PGA for each degree. This became known as the Mercalli Cancani scale, formulated by Seberg, or the Mercalli Cancani Seberg scale, or simply MCS, and used extensively in Europe. When Harry O. Wood and Frank Newman translated this into English in 1931, along with modification and condensation of the descriptions, and removal of the acceleration criteria, they called it the Modified Mercalli Intensity Scale of 1931. MM31. Some seismologists prefer to call this version the Wood Newman Scale. Wood and Newman also had an abridged version, with fewer criteria for assessing the degree of intensity. The Wood Newman Scale was revised in 1956 by Charles Francis Richter and published in his influential textbook Elementary Seismology. Not wanting to have this intensity scale confused with the magnitude scale he had developed, he proposed calling it the Modified Mercalli Scale of 1956. MM56, in their 1993 Compendium of Historical Seismicity in the United States, Carl Stover and Jerry Kaufman ignored Richter's revision, and assigned intensities according to their slightly modified interpretation of Wood and Newman's 1931 scale, effectively creating a new but largely undocumented version of the scale, the basis by which the U.S. Geological Survey and other agencies assigns intensities is nominally Wood and Newman's modified Mercalli intensity scale of 1931. However, this is generally interpreted with the modifications summarized by Stover and Kaufman because in the decades since 1931 it has been found that, "...some criteria are more reliable than others as indicators of the level of ground shaking." Also, construction codes and methods have evolved, making much of built environment stronger, these make a given intensity of ground shaking seem weaker and it is now recognized that some of the original criteria of the higher degrees X and above, such as bent rails, ground fissures, landslides, etc., are "...related less to the level of ground shaking than to the presence of ground conditions susceptible to spectacular failure." The "...catastrophe," and "...enormous catastrophe." 
Categories added by Kankani 11 and 12 are used so infrequently that current USGS practices merge them into a single extreme labeled X+. Topic: <laughs> Modified Mercalli intensity scale. The lower degrees of the modified Mercalli intensity scale generally deal with the manner in which the earthquake is felt by people. The higher numbers of the scale are based on observed structural damage. This table gives modified Mercalli scale intensities that are typically observed at locations near the epicenter of the earthquake. Topic: <laughs> Correlation with magnitude. The correlation between magnitude and intensity is far from total, depending upon several factors including the depth of the hypocenter, terrain, distance from the epicenter. For example, on May 19, 2011, an earthquake of magnitude 0.7 in Central California, United States, 4 km deep was classified as of intensity 3 by the United States Geological Survey over 100 miles away from the epicenter and 2 intensity almost 300 miles from the epicenter, while a 4.5 magnitude quake in Salta, Argentina, 164 km deep was of intensity Intensity I. The small table is a rough guide to the degrees of the modified Mercalli intensity scale. The colors and descriptive names shown here differ from those used on certain shake maps in other articles. Topic: <laughs> Estimating site intensity and its use in seismic hazard assessment. Dozens of so-called intensity prediction equations have been published to estimate the macroseismic intensity at a location given the magnitude, source to site distance and, perhaps, other parameters e.g. local site conditions. These are similar to ground motion prediction equations for the estimation of instrumental strong motion parameters such as peak ground acceleration. A summary of intensity prediction equations is available. Such equations can be used to estimate the seismic hazard in terms of macroseismic intensity, which has the advantage of being more closely related to seismic risk than instrumental strong motion parameters. Topic: <laughs> <laughs> Correlation with physical quantities. The Mercalli scale is not defined in terms of more rigorous, objectively quantifiable measurements such as shake amplitude, shake frequency, peak velocity, or peak acceleration. Human perceived shaking and building damages are best correlated with peak acceleration for lower intensity events, and with peak velocity for higher intensity events. Comparison to the moment magnitude scale The effects of any one earthquake can vary greatly from place to place, so there may be many Mercalli intensity values measured for the same earthquake. These values can be best displayed using a contoured map of equal intensity, known as an isoseismal map. However, each earthquake has only one magnitude. See also Japan Meteorological Agency Seismic Intensity Scale RON Emergency Scale Seismic Intensity Scales Seismic Magnitude Scales Spectral Acceleration Strong Ground Motion <laughs>